Hi, she was seven. I'm back. It is late. It is after midnight and I'm still hanging on to make this video. I just got a request to make this video so I had to do it while it was fresh on my mind. So this video is going to be called How to Energetically Attract Someone. Okay. Now my only experience is as a woman so this is all I can give you. But I'm sure you can apply it to, you know, as if you were a man or, you know, um, as well. Just kind of figured out. But a lot of people are, if you notice, there are some people who aren't the best looking people in the world, who are not the most, you know, attractive, don't have the best body, but somehow they still attract men and they still attract, um, you know, the good guys that most women want. Um, then you'll have like a very perfect looking, beautiful, flawless woman who can't really attract the same type of people. You know, it's energy. It's your energy. Okay. It's not about looks because, I mean, it is a little bit about looks. Yes, you have to be decent. You have to be presentable. You got to be attractive. You got to be clean. You got to be, you know, you got to have good hygiene and stuff like that. You can't be just terrible. But if you are standing next to, let's say, a model or a supermodel and your personalities were very different, you know, the man might be looking at the supermodel, but at the end of the day, he might want to conversate, spend more time with the one that's more interesting with the bubbly or energetic personality or the fascinating personality or the intriguing personality or the mysterious personality okay it's not about looks um, it's a combination it's an energy that men look for in women you know how when they say oh she has it there's just something about her that's her energy okay so you want to have a high vibrating energy even if it's mysterious you know you don't have to be all bubbly and da, 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 if that's not your personality because that's not mine but you do need to feel an energy they do they need to feel an energy they need to feel your presence you know because that's what's striking so for example a mysterious person would give off an aura of like you know a presence when they're around it's just like you feel their presence and you want to know them more there's like a a, a chapter to to um, unfold or something like that they're they're more of a challenge but a mystery and an exciting adventure you know and then you have the ones you have the, the women that are very happy and go lucky and out of care in the world and everything is fun and adventurous to them and men like that because it's um it's exciting to them and it makes life worth living it makes them have a better outlook on life now if you come across a woman who's tired beat down very negative you know sits like this with her head down she might be looking good flawless you know makeup weave whatever <laughs> nails done and she might be sitting at the bar like this looking tired and sad and like man all these guys suck you know no one's gonna come up to you but her energy is not pulling them in her energy is repelling them. She, they're like, she's like, get away from me. I know I look good, smell good, and this is that, but my energy is saying something else. So when you go out and you want to be approached, posture is very important. Keep your head up, keep your chin up, look around, smile. Like make sure your chin is up, not like this, but up because it body language says, okay, I look, I look up, I look to the positive in life. I'm not a negative person there's always something to look forward to but if you're looking down it's like okay you know but if you're looking straight ahead it's like you know you're not excited about the future you don't care about the past and it's kind of like you're one of those in the moment chicks it's like okay um, I'll know her for a moment then I'm moving on but body language tells a story so if you're always looking up, it's almost like you're daydreaming or planning your future or imagining something that you're getting ready to do. It's like you're thinking and, you know, planning something. And it's very intriguing when people see it. But, you know, if you're just like this, looking at everybody, okay, you're people watching. You're one of those people that, are, that live in the moment. Okay, cool. Some people like that. But 
Whatever kind of energy you want to give off, make sure you know what you're doing when you're out. Pay attention to your body language. Pay attention to your head movements, your, your, your smile, your tone of voice, because that can tell a lot about what you're going through in life. Like, you know, if you have a negative tone all the time because you're so used to yelling at people at work or your kids or, you know, your, your ex and you tend to like talk down to people, that energy is still negative. So when you speak to people, remember you're not speaking to that person who upset you. You're not speaking to your ex. You're not speaking to your children. You're not speaking to your coworkers. You're speaking to a brand new person who you've never met before and you have to change your tone, okay? A lot of men get turned off by women's tones. And a lot of women know that. That's why they use the tones if they're not attracted to the men. So they'll be like, oh, hi, what's your name? Um, uh, my name is Danny. And the woman will be like, oh, my name is da 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 Yeah. Well, who are you here? Oh, I'm just here with my friends. You know, that tone is so negative. Versus, hi, my name is Danny. What's your name? Oh, hi, I'm Shira. How are you? You know, oh, I'm good. Who are you here with? Oh, I'm just here with some friends. They drag me out after work. What are you doing here? You see how much more energetic that is you know and how more inviting and warm it is um you know even if you're very interested in the guy and he's cute and you're still kind of like oh yeah i'm just here with my friends oh what are you doing um oh nothing i just came here with my friends after work too oh that's cool so you know that's kind of blah plain you can get that from any woman but if you light up the conversation and the energy around him He's going to be very attracted to you even more, you know. So give that energy when it's necessary. Pull it back when it's not, okay. Um, don't give energy to people if you know that they're not worth it, okay. Don't waste it either. So, yes. Also, you know, I, I talk about this a lot in my other videos. The colors that you wear are very telling as well, um, you know. The type of makeup you wear you know if you have on like all this black eyeshadow and dark lipstick and dark clothes you know and it's not you know October or fall you know only certain types of men will be attracted to that you gotta you know be seasonal change your looks during the season you can't just wear one makeup look winter summer spring and fall you gotta be seasonal that's natural and it's very energetic when you can mesh with the season like if you come out in the summertime with a thousand pounds of dark makeup on when you should have on like tropical or natural colors you're gonna you're, you're gonna send out the wrong energy okay so make sure when you approach men or when men don't approach men but when men approach you or when you find yourself in a situation where men are around you to send out the positive good energy to make yourself look and seem more attractive okay because that's their first impression of you and if it's low energy they're going to always remember that and that's how they're going to think about you when they see you the next time oh she's boring she's blah she's kind of out of it she didn't have a lot of energy she seems like she, she would be a drag versus oh yeah that lady was so nice I remember her she has such a pretty smile they will remember your eyes because your eyes are gonna light up you're gonna show teeth smile they're gonna be able to see all you, of the range of your you know facial expressions so you need to show that you're you know engaged and you're able to interact and that if they were to introduce you to their coworker or their boss or their mother or their sister that they would too feel your energy and be impressed okay you you don't want your mom to say oh I don't like her she's kind of a drag you know you want to be that personality that everyone is intrigued with you know and if you're the mysterious type like me you know, you give a little bit. You give a little bit, not too much. You're like, oh, that's nice. <laughs> well, we'll talk about that later. You know, kind of be elusive, but still have high energy, you know, because that's what keeps people attracted to you is that high energy. They are attracted to high energy, not low energy, 
but high energy. And however you pull it off, it is attractive, okay? So just remember that. I know a lot of women, I talk to a lot of women on the phone. Um, Y'all know I do readings. And they're like, yeah, you know, uh, and, and that energy, just the tone of someone's voice, even when you're on the phone with someone, I know we text and stuff these days a lot, but even when you're on the phone with someone and you feel tired, you're going to drag them down, which is going to lower their vibration and thoughts about you. You always want to bring people up when you're on the phone. When they hang up with you or when, they, when they're done texting you, they need to feel better than they did before they called you, not worse, okay? So... Or even when you leave a voicemail, I know people text all the time now, but in relationships and when you're meeting new people, there is that exchange of speaking on the phone. <laughs> so leave a, a, a voicemail with a lot of energy, okay? Not too much energy, because you don't want to wear them out, but just enough to attract them and make them feel good, okay? If you overdo it, they're gonna be like annoyed, okay? So don't overdo it. There are some people that overcompensate with high energy and bubbly personalities because they're lacking something else. And men automatically pick up on that. They're like, oh, she's being extra nice because there's something about her that, you know, most guys don't dig. So she has to overdo it. And they'll take advantage of you, you know. So don't always be too nice. But energy, not nice, but energy, you know, you can be an energetic bitch if you think about it you know you can be like yes you know um you should go out this weekend that would be a really nice place i can't wait to go you know it's kind of expensive right but it's really fun okay i swear you will love it okay so basically you just told him you taking me to a nice place this weekend it's cost money save up but you're gonna love it and now he's excited about it you know he's not like you know you could have said well there's this place i want to go to and it's kind of expensive so you know, but I, I know you'll, you know, you'll like it. So we're going to go, right? That's like, okay, now he's like, oh, I don't know if I want to go with her. You know, she seems kind of blah and like she is expected, you know, is expecting me to do this even if she didn't really run it past me. She just told me that we were going. And basically I just said the same thing in a different tone with more energy and it seems nicer. But it's still the same exact thing, okay? So it's your energy and how you say things and how you vibrate. When you vibrate with high energy, you're going to attract the same response. Excitement, okay? A lot of women are like, oh, my man is not exciting anymore. He doesn't do what he used to do and blah, 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 blah. He doesn't treat me the same. Well, maybe your energy has died down a little bit and you need to bring it back up and get him back excited to do things with you, you know? Get all excited over something small, you know? That's how we used to do in the beginning of relationships. So we should continue that, you know. So I always get excited when I talk to my husband about little things. And it gets his attention. He's going to hear me, you know. A lot of men will ignore what their women are saying and watch basketball or whatever and not even hear it. But if you get excited about it, they cannot help but to tune in. That's how you get the attention that you need from a lot of women um, find that they talk a lot and they bore the man to death. But if you talk with energy, they are intrigued with the conversation. But if you just da -da 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 if you're animated, talk. Oh my God, you know what happened? Okay, are you ready? You're gonna laugh so hard. Do you want to hear something funny? They're gonna be engaged in it instead of like, you know what? You'll never guess what happened. It was so funny. They're not listening to that. You gotta. Pull that energy you got to push that energy and then pull it out of them okay so this is how some women attract these men who most people don't think they should be with you know most beautiful women can attract a man that's fine but they can't keep one because they don't have certain energy to keep drawing them back in okay um, you know, looks, looks are beautiful. You know, they're, they're not something that everyone has, but everybody has energy. Okay. So if you're ugly, you got some good energy. 
you're gonna get somebody okay I'm not I'm not even joking like I know ugly women that are so ugly but they have the best energy and they have men that you know take care of them treat them like goddesses you know just wonderful but they're not beautiful at all you know but that energy that inner light that energy that essence is what got them okay you become beautiful by your energy and how you vibrate you know um my i have a friend who's very beautiful but they have bad energy and like no one wants to be around them like no one because they kind of bring everyone down and it's not you know you know it's not anything bad or anything it's just that their energy is not something or you know that people want to actually be around for a long period of time so oh no that's okay I'll go by myself or oh no that's okay I'll catch you next time you know beautiful 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 but just blah you know um, people would rather be with fun energetic people than beautiful boring people I'm just gonna tell you um, and you can be pretty and energetic you can be classy cute and energetic you don't have to be this perfect beautiful specimen of a person to get a millionaire or a rich man to take care of you or the perfect spouse or a husband or a true love that you build up together however you want your man you don't have to be flawless and perfect to get a good one you just have to have the right energy to keep them intrigued and coming back for more and interested for many many years to come okay so don't let that energy go work on it okay even if you have to drink some coffee <laughs> okay I just want to put this out there this was a request this is not something I would normally talk about you know on this type of you know video or this channel it's not really advice it's just you know how we are as human beings our energy level the way we um, communicate how excited we get about things that's what attracts people how we interact it's a relationship how we relate to people you understand so you know many people can get their way if their energy is right you can request something demand something if your energy is right and you'll get it too because now they're excited about it and now they want it and might even think it's their idea okay so I'll see y'all later bye